What is happening? Welcome to another Pitcher Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock. Today, we're going to talk about Trevor Rogers. We haven't done this yet. Uh, he's been this amazing rookie phenom for the Marlins. He had this amazing first half. Then he got injured, and he hasn't really been the same until last time we had 10 strikeouts against the Nationals. I uh, hope you enjoyed that Shane Baz uh, video yesterday that was over 35 minutes long. If you notice, it's not, not 35 minutes. You can see down there, it's not today. But we're going to go over two innings. And if you guys want more of those longer breakdowns, especially for the offseason, let me know in the comments because I can do those. Give me requests. Uh, I can do any game you guys want during the season. From the season, I can do a longer video on it and break down really what's going on in the entire thing. But yeah, let me know. Uh, we'll get to it now. Uh, so Trevor Rogers throws a four-seamer slider and changeup. And he really focuses on that fastball command around the zone with sliders coming in for called strikes and changeups getting down. We did a really good job of in this start was getting those second inning pitches down. We're going to watch that today. So here we go. Fifth inning. And look at that gorgeous slider. I mean, this is – when you have a lefty on lefty, the thing that you see all the time is just staying away like this with sliders, especially with the lower arm angle of Trevor Rogers, which is uh, – that's not what we want. Look how low this arm angle is. It's a little bit – so it comes on the side a bit. That's actually not that low. But he gets a ton of horizontal break on this. And if you can do that against a lefty all day, I mean, that's just – that's going to work. It was 0-0, and that's actually telling you, Garcia, hey, he's going to swing. And he probably want to throw another pitch out of the zone now. Ah, he's actually trying not to even get out of the zone. He's trying to just go up and in. He's, he, I think he's ignoring what Garcia is telling him. Honestly, you can throw a change up there, and you get him. But uh, he wanted to attack with a fastball. This is the number eight hitter. There it is. There's the change up, 86. Ah, oh, that's so good. Oh, man. I mean, the, the, the thing that's really cool about that one, is it's lefty on lefty. Normally, everyone says, oh, you throw change-ups to opposite handedness. Nah. It's not what you're supposed to do. Well, I mean, yes, you can do that. But do not hold them back against the same handedness. This is a change-up down and in. Okay? Like, I, I see this all the time. When you have a change-up, you only throw it to opposite handedness. No, throw it, throw it to lefty-lefty because this is the danger zone here for a lefty. Right? And if you can throw a change-up that looks so tempting... To throw a fastball here and then you can get it into their danger zone where they can't hit it, their blind spot. You're going to get them swing over the entire time. Not to mention Garcia swung at the first pitch of the bat. He wants to swing. Give him the pitches that he wants to swing at and make him burn himself. So I would I would just do a slider away now. Don't even give him thing. Or maybe even fastball up. Is that what they want? Oh, they froze him. <laughs> okay. So this tells me two things. One, um, I like the idea uh, of going up here and, you know, Rogers got away with one. But two, Garcia actually was changing his approach. So this is something I talk about all the time is that make a batter showcase that he's changed his approach before you change it. And he did. He's looking for another change up or slider because he swung it too out of the zone. And he's thinking that Rogers is now going to feed into that and get too much in his head. Uh, th that's also honestly what you see with struggling hitters a lot is that they overthink at bats. And the more that you can do gambits as a batter and not really allow yourself to get in your head, just saying, cool, at this at bat, I'm going to be swinging at this, I'm only swinging at that. The more actually you can get out of those things, because you'll eventually be right with those gambits. As opposed to getting in your head, you can just, things like this happen. So this is I. Uh, this is Rogers against Rogers here. This should be a quick one. I'm rest of all, we're going to do two innings here. Um, by the way, this is the battle of the neighborhoods with two Mr. Rogers facing each other. And Josh Rogers was pretty dang impressive yesterday over seven innings uh, in this one. 95, just throw yeah, just throw fastballs over the plate here, Rogers. You don't need to do anything against Rogers. Rogers, I'm going to stop making any of these jokes. Just throw one more fastball and you're good. Okay, cool. But that's, that's 96. <laughs> throw aside. All right. Uh, I think he's trying to do a down and away change up there. Uh, miss with that. There's a fastball up. It's against Lane Thomas, of course, the leadoff hitter for... Oof. There's so much break with this. I mean, this is a strike for ages. Really good take here from Lane Thomas. I mean, this is debatably a strike, but they're not going to call that because of the way this is framed. So as you see as the glove... The glove is there. So, uh, with catchers, you've been seeing this a lot, I'm sure, where they have their mitts, and they go, cool, this is where you want to locate it, and then before the pitch comes, they drop their glove because they want to always come up. When, they, when the catcher receives a baseball for good framing, you always want to be going toward the zone. But here, in this one, you can see the glove is at the bottom. He actually has it down. 
this is a bad job by the catcher because he comes up for it and then doesn't realize he has to go back down for it, right? So because he catches it like this, the umpire is always going to call out a ball. But if he kept it, look look where his glove was before. Just leave it here and then come up. Ah, it's frustrating. He could have gotten that call. 2-1 fastball it's up and in. Tried to do that, left it out away, got away with one. That's a 2-1 pitch, and Thomas is thinking that. Thomas is thinking fastball there. Ryder's got away with it, but because he's not hitting it, you throw it again. Man. Against a really good team, I think this isn't going to work uh, for Rodgers there. I think he would get burned there. So anyway, I want to show the final inning too because that's a very quick one. I also include the pitcher. So he starts it off with, uh, actually, you know, I did the wrong inning. I wanted the fourth. Here we go. <laughs> uh, so there is an up and in fastball that is often going to get a strike against a guy like Ruiz. Uh, and down and in. It's... Did he get him still? Wow. Uh, this is okay. So, like, this is much better. It's a lot easier. The farther you get down inside, the closer it is to the barrel. Right? This is the ideal barrel position. This is the ideal barrel position. The more that you go towards the opposite corner, so, like, down here or down there, it's easier or harder for the uh, for the hitter. Right? Think of the, the bat going here and then across this line. Just think of like arms extended. This is where the the barrel of the bat lies. So to get to this, they have to do something different. To get to this, they have to do something different. They either push or pull. Uh, so the farther down you go, the more difficult it gets for a hitter to, or easier to get. <laughs> Sorry, the easier it is for a hitter to hit the ball, the, the lower it goes inside, and the higher it goes away. So this is a worse one than the first pitch, which landed. I uh, I can do things, which landed up here. This is actually a better one than the one down here. Um, and it's why he was able to put that one in play. Fortunately, he found a glove, and he got an out. There's a good first pitch strike that looks like a changeup, actually, to mess up by uh, uh, Hernandez. And paired that with a 95-mile-per-hour fastball. So that's really cool. So seeing that first pitch strike free real estate uh, with a secondary pitch, uh, it sets up this, this fastball. And, yes, it just got the zone, and it's very debatable. Borderline pitch, cool stuff. But... You're going to have Hernandez take this because he thinks it's going to be another secondary pitch. After setting that one up, it starts low and probably falls out. So that first pitch not only gets a first pitch strike, but it also sets up this low heater, which is really well executed by Rodgers. Now you can do whatever you want. You can play off of that. You can throw another fastball low. You can throw a fastball high. As long as you execute this pitch, it should be good. He kinda, a little too much. If this is closer to the zone like this, you got him. But uh, it's a borderline strike to start. And he doesn't quite get it. Throw, it. throw a better pitch. There you go. 95 away like this. That's fine. Uh, this outside pitch looks a little bit better than a typical outside pitch. Generally, you don't see whiffs on fastballs away. However, keep in mind, as a lefty against a lefty here, and Rogers' arm angle, out of the hand, it's hard to tell how far away this is going to go. So this looks like a strike for very long and just eventually lands away. Hernandez can't tell. And uh, he has to swing and you see what happens. Uh, he tries to get some free real estate with another change up there. Doesn't quite get it. So he goes back with the fastball, looks like. And again, he keeps missing this away like this. Uh, the number one skill, and I've talked about this before, you want to go up and in. The more you can go up and in to either handedness, the, the better. I mean, for a lefty, especially going up and into righties is the number one skill I look for. And I think the last three, so we saw against Lane Thomas. Oh, he did against the... Um, uh, Garcia so all right but I uh, you understand this is really where you want to be going a lot we've been seeing a lot of mistakes away that he's gotten away from away with against the Nationals much better that's a really good one 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 excellent pitch there deserved that foul ball and now great now you can throw that change up away you can throw a slider down and in here he even elevate a fastball let's see what he goes with goes with the change up down away get some swing beautiful there it is uh one really good takeaway I will say here Changeups and sliders, no mistakes up. You know, if he's missing, what you generally do want to miss with those is off the plate and out of the zone. You know, so you miss like a slider down here, you miss some changeups down here. But you didn't miss over the plate to get punished. Uh, and it really didn't make too many mistakes in general. I mean, yeah, there was the, the Lane Thomas one. Uh, and that probably was one that should have gotten punished. And sure, you, Josh Rogers at bat, whatever. But for the most part, I mean... Competitive fastballs and then really good changeups and sliders down. 
uh, that stuff <laughs> that that's exactly what makes Rodgers good in especially when the fastball is 95 96 it makes it harder to throw or harder to for, for batters to hit rather uh, he's throwing over about a tick fastball sorry tick harder than earlier in the season I can say words but yeah that's what Trevor Rodgers does that's how he's had a lot of success this year and it's really good to see him in that groove of good command with the secondaries again yesterday that's part of the reason why he had this huge success uh, against the Nationals all right so that's going to do it for today's picture video break. And as always, subscribe, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. Help out this channel grow. I, I mean, I've been doing this for four months. It's kind of crazy. I um, mean, you can look back at all of these. You can understand all these pictures. So definitely check out the, the playlist and see all the, the previous pictures you don't know about. But maybe you should uh, check them out on this channel. But that's going to do it for today. So as always, may your babbles be low and your strikeouts high.